Here we are at Super Duty Service in Green Valley, Missouri. Let me show you uh, some of the more advanced tests that we can do uh, using our uh, Ford IDS system. Uh, this is the same diagnostic software that Ford uses to test uh, vehicles when you take your truck to a Ford dealership. Uh, here we're doing a VGT turbo boost test. And this test is really important to determine the health of your uh, your tubo, turbo and your uh, vane controller, your VGT solenoid. What this test is going to do is it's going to test, uh, it's going to set your variables, and it's going to sweep your VGT solenoid and monitor your uh, EBP and your uh, MAP sensor at the same time. And what you should see as it's uh, putting the vanes up and down, you should see an up and down on your graph as well. And that's going to be uh, more or less significant or more or less pronounced um, at sea level. The higher you are above sea level, uh, the lower these little bumps are going to be. Um, so if you're having issues with your truck, you can bring your truck on in and uh, we can do a test that will uh, diagnose the health of your system. Let's go back to uh, power balance. And a lot of you guys are running around with uh, auto ingenuity or scan gauge 2. Um, what we found is that auto ingenuity uh, really doesn't show a bad injector at all. Uh, we used auto ingenuity for a long time thinking that the power balance in auto ingenuity was perfectly fine uh, when in fact uh, when compared to IDS you uh, you can find a bad injector on IDS that auto ingenuity will show as good. And the main reason for that is that uh, the FICM actually uh, does its own normalizing or its own uh, computer compensation strategy. So you can have the computer actually compensating for a bad injector. Um, so we can come in here, we can uh, turn off individual injectors while the test is running. We can turn off the computer FICM compensation and uh, give you a much better idea of what's going on. So come on in.